Hey there, welcome to The Hot Slice, the weekly podcast brought to you by Pizza Today magazine. I'm your host, Jeremy White, editor-in-chief of Pizza Today, joined by the one, the only, smiling, happy (laughs) Denise Greer, executive editor of Pizza Today. What's up, Denise? What's up, man? I'm always smiling, okay? That's just- You are. It's it's, 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 it's my face, man. So uh, it's pretty fun. One of the many things I love about you is how infectious your smile, you're always happy, you're always in a good like mood, it. and that lifts everyone's spirits around you. That's no right. No doubt about it. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. So let's talk about, real quick, let's talk about the week pizzerias have had. Okay, we're, this is Thursday Insane. in the last week um, since our last podcast, uh, we yep. pretty much, well, right before that, we had. National Pizza Day last Wednesday, Super Bowl Sunday, Valentine's Day Monday. I'm just mm-hmm. tired thinking about how much pizza uh, pizzerias around this country produced. Uh, I just, I would love to crunch out a figure on that, actually. It, definitely a high volume week, a big sales week. You know, we know from our own research and from talking to Uh, pizza chains, as well as independent pizzeria Mm -hmm. operators across the country that Super Bowl Sunday, most people are going to experience a 35 to 40% sales increase as compared to a typical Sunday. Absolutely. You know, you throw Valentine's Day into the mix. It happened to be on a Monday this year. Yeah. No one wants to cook on Monday. But a lot of people celebrated on Friday and Saturday. No no one wants to really cook on a Monday. It's like, it's Monday. I went to work. I'm tired. I don't want to cook. It's Valentine's Day. So that's kind of the excuse to to go order pizza. So you had a big Friday night anyway. You had a big Saturday night. Yeah. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Then the next day you had Valentine's Day. It was definitely (laughs) a shout out to all the kitchen staffers across the country. Oh man, I got to be tired. All the makers. Yeah, yeah. they, they deserve a drink. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, looking at Instagram, the heart shaped pizzas that were out there, like these are some artisan pizza makers right now. I mean, just, uh, yeah. just, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful pizzas. We showcased them one day and I just kept firing up to our, them up to our story to share them because they were, they were mm-hmm. so pretty. Um, you know, they're actually, always a big hit. Yeah, they are. Every year, but it seemed like this year was more so. It seemed like mm-hmm. it seemed like maybe this was the year that like you said, it went it went from just being like kind of a marketing ploy by large chains yeah. to a lot of artisan pizza makers getting in on the act as well. Yeah, I think so, definitely. And speaking of social media icon artisan pizza makers uh on the show today we have juan perez from posto in boston uh and a lot of pizza folks they know juan because they follow him on instagram or they follow him on tiktok he has a huge following and his strategies with Mm -hmm. tiktok and instagram are amazing to the point where he has videos that have gotten millions and millions and millions of Mm -hmm. views so he uh, definitely knows how to tap that social uh, button. Uh, just amazing. He does. You know, I think people like to see behind the curtain a little bit, right? Yeah, um, absolutely. They want to see what the Wizard of Oz looks like. And mm-hmm. if you work in a pizzeria every day, you don't think a whole lot about it. You and I, we're in pizzerias um, a lot, and, and we get shown around. We get the grand tour. We get to see behind the scenes as well. Yeah. But the average pizza consumer, even the really fanatical ones, they walk in, they sit down, they eat their pizza. They, they don't get to see where the wood comes from. They don't mm-hmm. get to learn about the, the wood and the wood burning oven and, and all this. And, and one will peel the curtain back and show some yeah. behind the scenes stuff. And I think people like that. Yeah. And then on top of that, to Denise, I know you're putting his Instagram and some of his other social in the comments below, but on his Instagram, his pizzas are just breathtakingly beautiful. They make me so hungry every time I see I know. them. It's just, it, that's the way it is. So I think let's just jump into talking to Juan yeah. because he's got a great story. And he also, uh, we, you know, we'll, we'll get into, you know, uh, you know, managing a kitchen, managing a kitchen staff mm-hmm. and what that's been like for him, especially in the last year, because uh, it's been pretty pivotal right now. So all right, well, let's just hop right in to uh, yeah, let's do it. Conversation with Juan. 
Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide. Hear that? That's the sound of a pizza being made with delicious Baccio cheese. For the past decade, Baccio has provided customers exceptional Italian pizza cheese with its signature kiss of buffalo milk. With a superior melt, endless stretch, and a rich creamy taste beyond compare, Baccio is honored to celebrate this 10 year anniversary with all of its partners. Schedule a demonstration at bacciocheese.com slash hot slice to learn more. Pizza's your legacy. Build it with Baccio. All right. Uh, so one first, I have to ask you, how was the last like four days for you? Because not only did we have National Pizza Day, we had Super Bowl Sunday and then Valentine's. Um, you know, what's that been like for you uh, as a maker on, you know, on that line? All right. It was it was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Uh, we got the start of the week with the National Pizza Day on Wednesday. So we did a couple of specials. Everybody was ordering pizza. We had a, the, our menu in the restaurant. It's, it's pretty big. We got pizza, pasta, all the stuff. But pizza is our more, uh, most popular thing. And everybody was getting pizza. I was excited about the pose we were doing. Uh, I did some meat lovers and jalapeno, spicy honey, and a shrimp pizza. And people loved it. And, you know, it was pretty good. Then we ended up um, doing all the prep for Valentine's Day weekend which we started like featuring things on Friday. So Friday was, you know, everybody was trying to get in the restaurant and Friday, Saturday was all booked. Uh, Sunday was a lot of takeout Yeah. for the game. I was, I was sure, I was sure it was, it was since early we were doing like lots of takeout. Um, so it was great. And then last night it was an incredible night. It was really amazing. It was so busy. The restaurant was all booked since probably two weeks ago, uh, no more room. We, we are a hundred seat restaurant, which is, you can accommodate a lot of people, but it's still, it was all like, you know, it was, it was nice to see the restaurant like going crazy this weekend. Um, you know, after all that happened on the past years, um, it's amazing. It's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just exciting, you know, besides all the craziness and all that running around, but it, it was pretty good. It was pretty intense. Do you kind of Jones, you, you kind of get excited about like having those big days like that? Is it, uh, is yeah, it something it, where you've got adrenaline going and uh, it's, it's correct. I, I, I told my wife, I'm like, I don't need coffee when, when <laughs> we got this big days. Cause I actually, you know, I can't like, I get too, too, you know, so much adrenaline. I get too excited. So I, I can, it's too <laughs> much for me. So it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Cause you know, the first couple months of the, of the year, it's, you know, kind of slow here in Boston, it's winter time. So it's like, you know, it's more quiet after the holidays, but, um, you get Valentine's day weekend or week, whatever day of the, of the week uh, happens that year. Mm -hmm. And it's always busy. It's always the first, uh, Valentine's day, actually it's, it's the busiest day, but the Eve it's, you know, sometimes the day before it's busy too. People try to get reservations, but it's always, the, re the restaurant is very popular, so it's always booked. It's a very like romantic uh, Italian place, so people love that, you know, it's like a nice low music, it's a little dark, so it's beautiful. People people love to spend their Valentine's with us, so it's, it's always nice. And then you have uh, graduations. Here in Boston is a big, big community for universities and college. Mm -hmm. so okay. then we're gonna have yeah we're gonna have graduation then you got summer summer it's so it's busy so it's it's exciting it's exciting for us coming that's awesome um so tell us about what uh what what your role is there at posto and um kind of what you've brought to the table there so i started in posto um back in 2010 uh, i was just doing pizza just did pizza for a couple i think four years and like 2014 then i got the opportunity to become a junior sous chef just learning about the whole like management and all that stuff um then i started growing 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 and on 2016 i become the head chef of the restaurant 
Uh, and then I've been the chef, the head chef since 2016. Uh, so I'm in charge of the whole like crew. We are like 20, 20 uh, guys there. Um, we do only dinner. It's just dinner, not lunch. We have a food truck too, a pizza oh. truck. Yeah, the, it has, we have the same oven. It's just a little small version and it's gas and wood. So it's faster. Oh, gotcha. it's, it's small and faster. So we're not going now anymore because we stopped the truck like two years ago for the pandemic mm -hmm. but when we were up and we were doing monday through friday lunch on the truck uh and then we're doing the, uh, dinner service at the restaurant so i you know i'm in charge of the whole operation there uh always i always try to do pizza i actually you know i put myself on the schedule on pizza on saturdays which is the mm -hmm. busiest day so i'm there i got my sous chef he jumped on the expo on the uh, just, you know, get in the chair and I go to pizza. So I, at least one day of, of the week, but I, I'm always helping them. You know, it's a small kitchen. We, it's only like one, two on Friday, on Friday, Saturday, we got three pizza cooks because it's too busy. Mm -hmm. But on weekdays, only one, but whoever's in the expo, it's right next to the pizza station. It's always yeah. jumping. I'm always like baking pizza while well, they'll stretch in and cause we stretch every pizza by order. So we don't go ahead on that. It's like every time you get a pizza, you stretch by hand, you, Top it, got in the oven. So yeah. it does like pretty much the whole system we got. I gotcha. Um, you know, when I think about, you know, what you do, I, are you having yeah, the trouble with getting um, a kitchen crew and um, having to constantly train or has your team been there for a while? So it's, it's actually, um, so we have, we are a restaurant group, right? We have uh, <laughs> yeah. over nine restaurants in the company. They're all different. Posto is the only Italian one. The other ones are Mexican food, American food. But um, mm -hmm. I've been lucky that mostly all my crew has been with us for so many years. Mm -hmm. I got I got guys that have been with us for ten years, eight years. So it's been it's been great. Um, people love to work with us. Uh, pizza. So we have pasta, salad, sure, all the stuff. Mm -hmm. But pizza is like the most important thing, and it's what takes the most training um yeah. it's not easy it's and and in these ovens like wood fire uh they go too fast stretching dough by hand yeah you know all that stuff it, it takes time but you know i've been lucky actually so basically right now it's we are food, uh, four cooks pretty much doing pizza it's mm, my sous chef and i got two cooks and myself which yeah. you know we, we split the times and one of my pizza cooks one of the best he was dishwasher for five years Mm -hmm. and the opportunity came out and I asked him and he was a little nervous he's like oh, I don't know if I can and I was like I'm gonna be with you I'm gonna train you I'm gonna make sure you do it. and he's doing amazing now it's like one of the best um the other guy came in like five years ago he had a little experience on pizza but he came in the first day and he was so impressed about the oven and he's like oh I want to learn and you know mm -hmm. we've been you know I told them all the time like I've been doing that for 12 years in the same oven, same thing. And then for me, yeah. you know, I made mistakes. I sometimes, you know, you do things. Yeah. And so I was like, don't get nervous, try to do your best. And the most important thing is that they very proud of it. They love it. They all take photos, they all take videos. They, you know, they're like on this thing. So they, they love it. They, you know, they love that. So it's, it's the most important thing. And yeah. when the pandemic hits, we will lose a couple of cooks mm -hmm. because you know, I think everybody's happen, is having this uh, conflict. Yeah. Is that a lot of new restaurants are opening and they're offering a lot of people. Um, I offer a lot of money for two people, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's hard to compete with that, you know. You get these yeah. big, big restaurants, you know, offering people $20, $25 to start doing like, you know, what a cook here in Boston will make $16, $17. So for us, it's hard to uh, hold people. You know, mm -hmm. I was like, I tell people like, they were like, oh, we're going to go somewhere because they're going to give us more money. I was like, you know, it's, it's up to you. But just think about that here you have, you know, you have stability. You have all the staff. You can go to the new restaurant. Might be good, might be not good, you know. So you're going to lose your job. You're going to lose hours. So it's been, it's been a little hard for us. Um, yeah. Like I say, we're a 100 seat restaurant. And our kitchen is pretty small. So it's like on, on a Friday, it's like seven cooks. Like, yeah. you know, three, you know, it's, it's not like too, um, too crowded, but, um, it, I, I say I've been lucky that 
the people has been very loyal to us. Yeah. You know, they're like, I appreciate that because, you know, they have the, some of them had the opportunity to leave and they were like, no, you know what? I'm happy here. They got, you know, they have a good time there. Uh, they love it. They enjoy it. Yeah. So they, you know, they, they stay with us. So oh. now it's getting a little better. You've seen the restaurants are getting better. And I, and I see for, because I talk to friends that are in the industry, they, you know, a couple months ago, they were like, you know, looking around for cooks all the time. Now it's a little better. So hopefully it gets better and better. So, so for us, has been has been good. has been good. I can't complain. Yeah. Juan, when, you, when someone shows interest in learning how to tend the oven, how to cook pizzas at Posto, how long does it take to train someone to use um, that wood-fired oven? If they, especially someone who's new to to that oven and has never cooked with wood before, what's right. the so basi- like? Yeah. So cook? basically, every time I get a new a uh, new guy with us, um, so the first thing I do is just I I, I have them spend time stretching though. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's like I'll oh, just stretch though, just stretch though, and then once you get that, you move to the topping area. Mm-hmm. And once you get that too, so first couple of weeks, whatever, I never let them get the oven because it's just the last thing. I think it's your graduation. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah. You know, for me, it's like you, once you do the oven, you're you're good. You know, yeah, yeah. you got that confidence. So uh, step by step. So I always, you know, I I have them like see how I do it, and I was mm-hmm. like, just make sure you do the do the way I do. But if you think you can do it better do it but just try to you know try to follow a rule so it's you know it's it's complicated because when you do wood fire so we don't have like an electronic uh, thermometer you don't see how how hot it is because that oven doesn't have that future so i was like it's mostly like filling you know put your mm-hmm. hand there filling uh you 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 see like you put a pizza there and then if you see that start cooking in the first 20 seconds you know you're good yeah. Uh, and then just make sure sh- make sure you rot- uh, rotate the pizza on the same spot. Never move spot to spot because that's gonna burn like really quick. Because you know the whole floor of the oven is so hot, right? And yeah. every time you put a pizza on the same spot, you know it's getting cold. cold, cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So make sure. Sh- so I told them make sure you rotate uh, rot- rot- uh, mm-hmm. rotate them on the same spot. Um, I will say it takes it'll take at least I don't know three four weeks. Yeah. to get them to allow them like go by themselves mm-hmm. but it's you know like you have to get the mobility you have to have the smartness so you can you need to like i told them it's not like a regular oven you put it there you close the door and you let it go right and yeah. here you have to like you have to do it you have to manage it yeah and mm-hmm. and what happened in the restaurant is that they can't just stay there in the oven cooking they have to be stretching mm-hmm. though they have to be topping pizza so you know, we never leave them alone, of course. Uh, but that's why I tell them, like, first learn, then learn that, and then just go to the oven. And then we let them do it the oven for, for a bit. Like, not on busy day because they're going to get too overwhelming. It's too much. But, um, you know, weekdays when it's slow, you know, we always do, like, you know, the first, we, we stretch some dough, we put some light sauce on it, and then we let them burn in the oven. So they, even if they're burning, it's just, like, you know, practice. So they get practice, mm-hmm. and, you know, it's yeah. like, we make a little extra though for them to try it. Um, but I will say it will take three, three to four weeks. Some, sometimes people don't understand how complicated it is. Mm-hmm. Right. But, and it takes time. It takes time to train people. Um, that's why for me, it's, it's, I always think that having a loyal crew and, 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 and people that want to stay with you, it's, it's key because you can't be losing people like so much in this. I know for in, in all the industry, uh, things are different but for you know i i spent a month training someone to make this pizza and right. and, and for me it's like leaving that and, and and have those days being wasted it's it's too complicated yeah. so it's yeah i will say take three to four weeks to get them going and 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 after that it's even though uh, no matter what how many years you're doing it it's always mm-hmm. it's always a learning process like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm doing that for for so long now and and there's days that, that I learned things and I'm like, oh, wow, I couldn't <laughs> do this for a long time ago. And now, you know, it's like, it's exciting. Every time I, I stand in front of the oven, it's like, it's a new thing. Yeah. I mean, every day. So. Yeah. Did you and say then, Saturday is your busiest night of the week? So it's, so it's, um, so for takeout, Friday. Friday okay. is mm-hmm. busy day for takeout. 
Saturday is most busy in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So both days are um, our biggest day. But I'll yeah. say, I'll say Friday. It's like I got this posting that I always do pizza Friday. Yeah. yeah. On and I post like the craziest video on Fridays, and it gets people like really excited. And and it's always like the takeout. It's it's pretty intense. Yeah. How many pizzas? Friday. Yeah. How many pizzas will you sell on a Friday or Saturday night? So we we only open five to nine thirty mm -hmm. ten. It's five hours, around four hours. We yeah. can do two hundred to two hundred twenty, two hundred fifty okay. on those five hours, which is uh, pretty intense. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> That's a lot. your pizza yeah, in the oven. How how long is your pizza in the oven usually? Oh, if it's one, it, it has to take ninety seconds. It takes sometimes mm -hmm. less. Yeah. But um, when you do like, because the, the thing is like we're so busy, so the, our, our, our oven is big. It's like 170 centimeters. So it's, you can feed, normally you can feed 10, 12, if you're trying hard. I mean, I, I can feed more, but um, it, the oven can be too high, you know, can yeah. be too high. So when, yeah. you, when you're feeling all that, but I will say normally they do like A by A by A, 10, mm -hmm. A, 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 10, 10, 10. So that's like the most... I will say like recommend for them to do it because you know like it, it goes fast. So yeah. that's why on Friday and Saturday we got three people. So one stretching though. Actually on Saturday is only two because I'm there. Yeah. So it's <laughs> one cook. I'm stretching though and topping and the other guy's cooking. On Friday it's three people. My yeah. sous chef and the two cooks. Yeah. Denise, you know, these wood burning ovens, they require a lot of skill, a lot of technicality, as yeah. Juan said. You're you're moving around a hot spot, you're you're, Absolutely. you're rotating you're rotating it within the oven. Um, you have to give it so much attention. It's hard to do one, <laughs> let alone, can you imagine exactly. in into 12 at yeah, the at same time? time. You're in, no, no, you have to I remember can't. which one you turned, which one you have it. No. Exactly. So for one, to train someone to do that well in three to four weeks, that's, that's really good. astounding yeah. to me because I would think yeah. it would take a couple of months to really, yeah. before yeah, someone like, can yeah. lose with that. Correct. We, so, you know, like we, we got pretty intense with them. You know, it's like, yeah, I, I, it's so funny that sometimes I do something. It's like when, when he's a new guy, I, when he's working with me. So I put like three pizzas in the oven and I go, I was like, Oh, I gotta go downstairs and I'll, I'll be right yeah. back. And I let them alone to see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stay in the back. I'm like, Hey, I'm still in the back. I'm seeing if he's nervous or something. And, and when yeah. I get back, he's like, you can see that they feel more, you know, like, oh, like oh More he's here. Well, so, yeah. I'm glad he's back. Yeah, <laughs> glad he's back. But it's it's nice. It's nice. You know, like when when I first started there, um, you know, like that happened to me, but not intentional. The people just left. The, the other cooks left, and and uh, mm -hmm. I I had some experience on like brick ovens, but yeah. no, it was gas, right? Mm -hmm. And I worked for for a, another restaurant, another mm -hmm. pizza chain, and you can feed like twenty five pizzas in that oven. It's yeah, huge, wow. enormous. But it was gas, right? So, and pizzas was taking eight minutes. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you lower the gas and then you let them cook, right? And, yeah. And so I had the experience, but it, this was the first day I saw it. I was like, wow, this is like, it was so fast. And I was like, how do you do that? <laughs> how? <laughs> I was, I was overwhelmed. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. And, you know, so they do one two three and then start doing four and then you know like start getting familiar with it but yeah, yeah you have to build it's, up. It, it's it's crazy like i said before not many people understand how complicated it is and and mm -hmm. it's it's a whole it's a whole thing it's a whole yeah. thing yeah a whole thing that you have mastered by the way jeremy has you have you seen his instagram by the way have you oh my god yes Juan, your instagram it, i look at it uh, and I mean, Thank it you. doesn't matter if it's 7.30 a.m. and uh, I'm, I'm hungry. not hungry. I look <laughs> at pizza on your Instagram I love it. and my mouth waters. There's one. Uh, um, it was a half and a half pizza. You'd put like a yeah. half pepperoni and a half margarita. Uh, I, yes. <laughs> yeah. I did. I posted and it on like that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. It is yeah. gorgeous. I love it. It's like the... I love to post down because it's like, you know, it's like two different words combinated. It's like, you know, yeah. you have this big pizza uh, margarita fans and another yeah. people that love the pepperoni. So it's like, you know, it's the middle, you know, you yeah. get the best, you get the best. Yeah. The best. I love that. Juan, yeah. for those who are watching and listening to this podcast, 
they heard what Denise and I just said, and now they're like, I want to go see his Instagram. Uh, what tell tell the uh, people listening what your Instagram handle is? So my Instagram is uh, Juan G Pixar. Mm -hmm. So just make like my name Juan G Pixar all together, and you can also like check them out on Posto Boston, mm -hmm. which is our restaurant Instagram, yep. and I have also TikTok, which I yeah. open it up. Uh, like it, I would What's say like a year ago. Handle? What's your it's TikTok also, handle? It's also it's also Juan G Pizza. Okay, I'll put those in the show notes. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I, I um, it was it's it's so funny. My brother, so my brother got this like craziness with TikTok, and he was like, "Hey, Juan, mm. you have to open a TikTok. You have to open a TikTok." And I was like, "No, I don't have. No, no, not for me. Not for me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I did it. Right, I did it one day, and I post one video, and it got like a hundred k views. Yeah. And I post wow. a second video. <laughs> Same. And I did like 200. And I post the third video. It was me cutting some dough, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, cutting some dough. And it goes like 4 million views. Oh, and no. I was like, and yeah, I got like awesome. 20,000 followers in the first month. Yeah. And I was like, wow. I, I was like, this is crazy. So where are you at now on TikTok with followers? What 150. 150. 150 and now you got 135 on Instagram. 135 on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> and I got, a, I got a video on TikTok that hit 10 million views. Wow. What was that video that yeah. hit 10 million? It was, it was me baking, the, uh, just putting some pixels in the oven and then just baking them. And it was, I got, yeah. I got a few, I got one with 10 million, couple with 5 million, other more with, I got a few with over the million. Yeah. So it's the growing on TikTok has been crazy in like a year and a half i guess i get all the followers and mm -hmm. it just didn't different because i go oh, ahead go ahead, Mark, go ahead. No, i was just saying that it's different because you know i i was trying to see in tiktok first i was you know googling out like peep a uh, pizza hashtag yeah. and all that stuff and didn't see like people doing what i was doing so i was like oh mm -hmm. this might be this might be different and then that's how i started and yeah and like i say it's more popular tiktok now but tiktok is more about videos yeah. So once you get a video on and it's viral, you get a lot of followers. Instagram is more building a community, mm -hmm. uh, you know, getting together with people. It's, it's a little harder. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that um, you definitely have a strategy. Can you kind of share what, what you like to post, whether it's, uh, you know, if it's on Instagram, a post versus a reel, uh, you know, versus a TikTok, you know, what, what what's going into that? Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm very like focused on, on, you know, I always tell people like you have, if you want to show yourself, you have to, you know, you have to work hard for it. You have to like, mm -hmm. you know, some people say, like, oh, how do I get more followers? How do I get more popular? I was like, how many times you post a day? I was like, oh. Two times a week and i'm like oh, that's why that's like, why you, know, you have to be you know i post a lot i post two three times a day oh wow. i got a lot of videos photos you know mm -hmm. sometimes depends on the time i have but you know i have to keep doing it because you know people is always excited to see what's next mm -hmm. and and the community has grown a lot and and you know i do i i'll say i do two photos two reels a day one reel two photos depends you know mm -hmm. depends on the day on the weekends i do mostly videos yeah because it's more, you know, it's like, it gets more attention. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then, so I started this Instagram in 2012. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, when, when I first started on, on, on Instagram, I, you know, I don't know if I'm one of the first ones or if there was somebody before that posting all this, like behind the scenes, like pizza, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, baking in the oven and, and doing all that stuff. And, and mm -hmm. so, I started doing that and, and, you know, people was very excited and say, Oh, I never seen that. I, you know, I never seen how a food oven looks inside, how you make pizza and all that stuff. And, and now that social media has grown up so much and, and people are paying more, more attention to pizza now, you know, like yeah. the, I was, I don't know, to me, the pizza community has grown and, and everybody wants to do videos now, wants to, you know, have their own, they all, they have their own like, small pizza places and all that stuff and yeah. you know they want to be posting videos they want to and I, and I love that it's like I'm, I'm so happy that a lot of people is doing it um I think that's one of the keys for my page to grow so much because you yeah. know like I've been doing it for so long and, and and I know that people have followed me 
but now that everybody wants to be involved yeah has made you know like has made my page grow so much and and, and it's yeah. amazing it's like you know I, I tell everybody you know keep posting like don't get too crazy you know don't post like 10 times a day but you know post yeah. Post differently, uh, you know, make sure the times, like, you know, like, I'll, I have a lot of followers in Italy and Europe. So yeah. it's like, you post, you know, it's like, make sure you, you, you understand what the time there. You yeah. don't want to post something that over there is like 1 a.m. So people won't get to see it. it. Depends on what you're posting. Like, I see my, um, my statistics and all the stuff, you know, it says that one of the countries that I have more followers is in Italy, actually. Mm-hmm. Which is which is for me it's it's pretty pretty amazing because you know Italy yeah. is the whole the yeah. whole thing about um yeah I got I, it's so funny because some people actually come to the restaurant because a friend in Italy told them mm-hmm. they're like oh do you know this guy from Boston <laughs> they're like oh so you know him in Italy but you don't know him here in Boston yeah it's it's yeah it's it's amazing having that um has grown so much in, yeah. in all over all over the world like. Every time I do uh, live videos, that's another thing. So mm-hmm. when I work on peaks on Saturdays, I try to do live videos when I'm working. Yeah. I just put the phone away and I just show people what we do. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm not in the camera talking, but I just leave the, uh, the yeah. phone on yeah. and then people see us. And I did a Saturday, uh, past Saturday, I did a, um, a live video and I got like a thousand comments. Like for, mm-hmm. I, I, I always save the video to see the comments and it was amazing to me see how many um like how differently how many different places in the world has been watching my videos but mm-hmm. like you see all these people from i don't know africa asia europe mm-hmm. south america it's it's amazing like all these people like talking about it and and they're like so happy they're like oh yeah. i'm from you know like morocco and i'm from mm-hmm. uh, China, uh japan i'm from France, mm. you know, like Russia, everybody, yeah. people was like so happy and they're like coming on their like languages and yeah. I don't even understand it. I was like, yeah. I was like, wow, this is, my <laughs> sister awesome. actually was in the live video and she called me the next day and she's like, oh my God, Juan, you see how many like people from other countries were watching you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And That's so cool. It's a truly a universal food. Yeah. It's, and- it's amazing. So that, you know, that makes people sharing your page right mm-hmm. and getting more people engaged like to yeah. your to your to your thing so you know doing live videos when you can uh showing people things that you don't see too often mm-hmm. uh it's it's key for it because you know everybody can you know take a photo of a pizza right yeah but if you show them how you like stretch it how you bake it in the oven how you like rotate it mm-hmm. how you control the fire and and seeing all that stuff to me even to me like i when i get home I always watch my videos. Yeah. The mm. videos I post, you know, it's like, uh, and, and I look at it and I'm like, wow, this is, this is incredible. Yeah. Like seeing how you do that and, and like yeah. how fast it goes and how perfect it has to go. So mm-hmm. it doesn't burn. So it doesn't, you know, so to get the same color, that's some, the consistency because, you mm-hmm. know, like you have to be rotating it like every, I don't know, every five seconds. Otherwise you're going to have like more brown on one yeah. side and so it's like their whole rotation it's, yeah. for, it's for, for us is now yeah <laughs> for us is now like you know yeah. you know but when when i see my yeah. videos it, it makes me really go back to the reality and i'm like wow we're doing something um, amazing for this yeah so and i'm glad that i can share it so yeah. a lot of people can like understand the whole point of like having a wood oven and, and, and all this stuff and yeah i love okay. that and I know Posto has uh, really benefited too, because I see on Instagram where people <laughs> like want to do a pilgrimage from wherever they're located at to right. eat your pizza. So it's like, like they've kind of gained this worldwide following as well. The restaurant yeah. has. Yeah, yeah, um, so yeah. That, Posto has really got good. like they got like over ten thousand on the past year, I guess. Ten mm-hmm. K yeah. followers, and yeah, it's because. And it, it, another thing that it's funny, yeah, a lot of people message me or email me. They say like, oh, I can't find one GPX on Google. Uh-huh. I can't find your location. I'm like, no, it's because it's post of Boston. <laughs> so they think the yeah. restaurant is 1G. <laughs> yeah. So when, yeah, when they're like, oh, it's post it's post So yeah, yeah the, rest, the restaurant has, has, you know, has helped me becoming what I am. 
And so I think for me, it's just great that I can help the restaurant, you know, be indifferent, like, you know, everywhere. Like every yeah. time we're doing something, people, you know, I love that people include the restaurant and include myself because I'm not doing it myself. I'm not doing it alone. I'm doing it with yeah. the whole team and, and, and with the restaurant. Yeah. And, I'm, you know, it's, it's just great. It's great for everybody. Great for the company. Great for me. Yeah. And well, we'll let, we'll let you go out on one question. Okay. Of so course. You grew, you grew up in Colombia. Uh, I grew up in Colombia, yeah. What was pizza like for you as a kid? Uh, in okay, so, so in Colombia, um, so this, that when I was in Colombia, right, uh, yeah. there's like two, three, I would say like three types of pizza, right? You get mm -hmm. the cheese pizza, you get the pepperoni pizza, and you get this Hawaiian pizza. Okay. Which is mozzarella, pepperoni, pineapple, or ham, and you get condensed milk on top. Condensed yes. milk on top? Yes. Yes. Huh. So Jeremy, it's so have sweet. I have not, oh, no, no, that, that <laughs> is a new one to me. Condensed exactly. milk, right? So it's sweet. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And you get the saltiness from the pepperoni. So the street type of pizza was, you know, it's so popular. Everywhere yeah. they have a pizza place, you get, you find those three, right? Yeah. So, you know, for me, I, I was always thinking about like becoming a chef since I was mm -hmm. a kid. I, I, you know, I was like, you know, I was very involved in the, in the, in the kitchen and just, you know, like not a professional, but seeing my yeah. mom cooking and all that stuff. I, I love that. And, and I told my mom, I was like, one day I want to become a cook when I want to learn. And, and I had the opportunity to come to us and, and, you know, I start working in a Chinese restaurant actually. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had to do dumplings and fried rice and all that stuff. And, and, you know, I start, you know, getting in love with this. Mm -hmm. And now that, you know, I learned so much about pizza, to me, it's like, and, and seeing in Colombia, you know, like I, I, I follow mm -hmm. a lot of people from Colombia and mm -hmm. I have helped a lot of people to open restaurants in Colombia, like a small places, you know, in the pandemic, yeah. they were like, hey Juan, how can I make this pizza? So I was like, just get this, you know, this recipe and try it and see how it works. Oh, they have questions and, and you know, they're very excited. They're always so thankful for me and 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 i seen how much has grown like on bogota the capital i'm from medellin which is the second mm -hmm. biggest city in uh, colombia it, okay. you see a lot of like this there's a lot of wood fire um peaks of places in colombia now mm -hmm. like lots of places so it's 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 amazing it's like going everywhere it's like going crazy there so to me you know coming and and people it's like oh you're from colombia like how you get this good at making pizza i was like you know, like it's, I would yeah. say it's not about the country. It's just about yeah. you. It's about what, absolutely what you, yeah. What you bring to it's the table, but you know, like <laughs> it's worldwide, you know, it's more, you know, people say, like, Oh, you're Italian. So, you, so, and, and he has helped me a lot. Like I, I got this, this is, um, I call it slice by Juan G. So yeah. I made this back in 2020. This is a fundraising uh, merch yeah. I did for to feed some kids in Colombia. So we, you know, I got this opportunity, somebody, uh, some website, they were like, oh, you want to do some merch about your yeah. pizza? And I was like, how we do about, a, how we do a fundraising, actually, instead mm -hmm. of me getting that stuff so we can sell yeah. it. And when we did, we got like $2,000 in like a month nice. for them. And it was nice. I sent it over to Colombia. They made this big party and they fit in the kids. It was a very uh, poor town in Cartagena yeah so it was it was amazing we did the whole thing with the fundraising um with the um with them and and it, it was amazing so being the you know having the opportunity to leave colombia come here follow my dreams and now give them back it's it's mm -hmm. just it's just the best it's just yeah. the best. oh that's amazing i love that's that. great well we can't are you gonna are you gonna be at expo will we see you at expo i will go to the expo i'm gonna go yeah. on tuesday just to yeah. walk around Nice. I'm, I'm, I, I went in 2012 and I can't wait to come back. So I'm excited for next month. Are you guys going to be there? Oh, yeah. Come Absolutely. see us at, come come see us see at the Pizza there. Today booth. So we'll be I'll there. go there. I'll go there for sure. Great. All, All right. right. Awesome. Well, thank you, Juan, for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Uh, and we can't wait to continue to follow you and, and thank see you. what's going for you. Okay. Thank you guys for the opportunity for, you know, for, for all this. I love it. And, and I can't be more thankful. It's just, okay. just great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. All right. Bye, you guys, too.